Good day, mate. So today I'm gonna show you how to laser engrave a rectangular painting with X2 F1 laser engraver and slide extension. Good news. So paired with X2 slide extension, X2 F1 laser machine can finally laser engrave or cut on a four times longer object than before. So what we're gonna make today? The school of Athens, Scuola di Atene in Italian. It's the first school by the Italian Renaissance artist Raphael. It's quite pronounced, isn't it? If you have this one placed, it definitely adds an artistic vibe to your apartment or working studio. You need to prepare X2 F1 laser engraver, X2 slide extension, scissor, laptop, and most important, the photo paper. Firstly, let me place this photo paper onto the slide extension. And if you want to learn how to install this slide extension to your X2 F1 laser engraver, please check out the video down below. So firstly, make sure the ruler is on the top of the object. And next, normally we make sure the zero on the ruler meet the zero on the edge. And on the other side, you can use these clips that come with the slide extension package to fix and flatten the object in case they are warped during the process. Let's set the focus. Just rotate the button to ensure the blue and red spots coincide. You can find this file in the project center. Firstly, you want to connect to your device. It's already connected here. And remember to choose laser extension as we use the slide extension. And here's the thing I like to emphasize. We're gonna choose invert for this painting because we're gonna laser engrave on the black color photo paper. But if you wanna laser engrave on the white color or gray color or any lighter color, you don't have to choose invert. And we're gonna click infrared laser. So as we all know, F1 laser machine has blue light, also the infrared laser. And we're gonna set up 100 microseconds for the dot duration, which is the speed. And we're gonna write 80% of power and the DPI, which means dots per inch. Now we come to the bitmap mode. As you can see, there are many options, and each of them get different algorithm. Here are examples to show you the differences. So the upper one is the grayscale, and the bottom one is the Atkinson. So in this case, with the photo paper and this painting, the Atkinson mode turned out to be the most suitable one. But in your case, you need to do some tests until you find the perfect one for yourself. Okay, and next we're gonna hit the framing. You probably asked me how to make sure where the engraving area is. Let me just show you. So when you start framing, the slide extension will automatically move until it finds its starting point. And that is the starting line of your pattern. You can mark it is around 2.6. And next, you want to rotate the button on the side to keep the extension moving until the blue square starts to shrink. You see it's shrinking, and that is the ending line. That's 13.2. So now you know how long is your pattern. All right, we're gonna stop framing, and we are ready to go. Let's hit the start. If you wanna learn how to laser engrave on some longer object or some jewelry in batch with actual F1 laser machine, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have so many tutorials videos for you. Look at this, it's really beautiful finish, isn't it? So let's just take it out and we're gonna use a scissor to cut the excess part and put in the frame. Since we have the slide extension, it definitely extends the working area of your X2 F1 laser engraver. So it's perfect for you to laser engrave portrait or laser cut some small gifts in larger quantity. All right, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like this video and turn on the notification. See you next time.